welcome to the first leg of the European regional playoffs between France and Scotland and Stade de France here. Of course, Scotland, having finished second in Group A, will have to beat the likes of Conchelny and Hugo Lloris and stop the likes of Karim Benzema and Frank Ribéry from scoring to see if Scotland can qualify for their first World Cup since 1998. Of course, France are a very difficult opponent. Scotland, however, playing in that ridiculous away strip will maybe even confuse their opponents and Scotland could potentially, maybe, mind control them and win the game. Very unlikely, but we never know what could happen in football. So, of course, Benzema and the like playing up front for um, France. Kabay in midfield, a former Newcastle player, and who, of course, now plays for PSG. Scotland again, back to full strength. David Marshall in goal. James Morrison, Commons, Maloney, Adam and Stephen Fletcher up front. No space in the squad for Darren Fletcher, who was out well, feeling unwell this morning. So the game to kick off, France, of course, to kick off instead of France, France versus Scotland. So in the 33rd minute of the match here, as we see France trying to get forward here, Maloney gives, gets the ball here to Charlie Adam. Adam with a shot, and it's a great save from the Tottenham goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris. It's coming up to half time here, five minutes remaining until the half. David Marshall with a goal, with a nice kick here, as he gets it to Scott, and um, tries, tries to get it to Charlie Adam actually. Koscielny however steps and gives it to Benzema, Benzema for a pass through to Ribi, Ribi for a shot and it's a great save from David Marshall. So into the second half as Stephen Fletcher here runs forward trying to get past Mavri Sacco, gets the ball to Adam, Adam for a shot and it's off the crossbar. Into the last 10 minutes of the match as you see here, France passing the ball about of course there are, I'm sure there are away goals here. Stephen Fletcher through on goal, Stephen Fletcher for a shot and it's another good save from Hugo Lloris as Hugo Lloris keeps his side in this qualifiers in the playoffs sorry until the last minutes of the match here Russell Martin heads it away from Lua Karemi and a poor clearance from James Morrison goes it for a throw near the corner for France can they potentially cap capitalise on the mistake and maybe even score a goal in the last minutes Ribier for cross in to Menez Menez with a header down to Whitaker Whitaker clears it and the ref should blow the whistle referee blows the whistle at the first, at the end of the first leg, it is nil-nil between France and Scotland in the European Regional and um, Playoff match. There, of course, Scotland did play very well, as did France, but the man of the match goes to Hugo Lloris. So into the final leg of the European Regional Playoff match between Scotland and France here at Konami Stadium. Of course, nil-nil after the first leg. Whatever happens in this leg will most likely decide what well basically whoever goes through of course scotland have not been qualified for a world cup since 1998 which was ironically in france as well so of course scotland will hopefully be trying to maybe even boot out who could be who could be the potential winners of the cup themselves and maybe even take a nice spot in the limelight once for the first time in 16 years so here scotland of course playing a very strong side snodgrass comes in as well as maloney Commons, James Morrison, Scott um, Scott Brown, and Russell Martin was ridiculously captain today. I'm not really sure why, but Cliche there, I believe he's talking to Musa Sissoko and Varan and Kashelny as the centre back pairing for France. Of course, Scott will be wanting to score a goal nice and early, maybe put them under a little bit more pressure. But with that being said, this is a very difficult, difficult opportunity for Scotland to maybe even get anything from this game. But we don't know what happens. This is football, of course. So Scotland versus France here as we as we kick off. Of course, Scotland trying to maybe get the ball forward early, like I said, going for an early goal. But of course, this game could potentially go to penalties if it ended nil-nil. So Commons here on the ball in the first minutes of the match. Really play it into Stephen Fletcher. Gives it to Stephen Fletcher. Fletcher gets shot away. Runs past Conchelny, but good defending from the Arsenal man. 70 minutes on the clock here. As Stephen Fletcher picks up the ball, runs past Conchelny. Nothing Conchelny could do about it. He moves back onto his left foot, nothing to stop him. Stephen Fletcher for a shot at Stephen Fletcher with the goal, which could potentially send Scotland through to the FIFA World Cup Finals. What an absolutely amazing finish from, from Stephen Fletcher. Poor defending from uh, Laura Koscielny. As you see him here, nothing really, not really closing him down. He's closing him down a little bit, but really poor defending. He just moves it back onto his left foot. No one else is closing down in the box. As Stephen Fletcher turns back, shoots it into the bottom corner. Nothing Luis could do about it, and Scotland lead France 1-0. 
So coming up here, up to the half time mark here, as Fletcher on the ball runs past, gets it to Chris Commons. Commons with a shot, and it's off the post. Really unlucky for Chris Commons. So we're into the second half here as Commons on the ball, running past Gonalons, nothing he could do about it. Gonalons continues to come back and try and get a shot away, or try and stop him really, but it does get a shot away, it's a really good shot, and it's a good save from Hugo Lloris. So into the 75th minute here, 15 minutes remaining in the match, Russell Martin, the captain for today, hits a ball into the box, Stephen Fletcher tries to get his head on it, tries to get a really good head on, a nice flick on from Stephen Fletcher to Robert Snodgrass, who volleys it first time, and it's another good save from Hugo Lloris. So out for a corner kick which will most likely be taken by Charlie Mondrew. Um, actually it's not, it's taken by Robert Snodgrass in the 76th minute here. Snodgrass hits it in, Stephen Fletcher trying to get his head on it, can get his head on it, comes out and let's see what happens. Greer steals the ball off Frank Ribery. Will he try and get a shot away himself? Will really cross it in? He tries to maybe pass it in and they get a throw in. So into the last minutes of the match here, Scotland defending with their hearts, defending with their lives. As we see Benzema on the ball here, Greer trying to pull him back, trying to stop him, trying to take him out in general. The ball comes to James Morrison, Morrison clears it, referee should blow the final whistle here. Snodgrass runs to the ball with Koscielny, Koscielny does get it from him, but Snodgrass, they're in the wrong half of the field in France here, as they need the goal, and they don't get it. Scotland have qualified for the FIFA World Cup for the first time in 16 years. Absolutely fantastic from Gordon Strachan and Scotland in general to qualify for such a such a hard thing to qualify for the World Cup but Scotland have done it they've beaten France here in the European regional playoff and Russell Martin of course the camera focuses on him but he's not even the, usually the captain but for whatever reason Russell Martin was captain today and he has basically captained his side to a 1-0 lead over 1-0 win over France absolutely fantastic from Scotland nice little bit of stats there as you can see on the screen but of course, the man of the match goes to Stephen Fletcher, the goal scorer. So here are the other European regional playoff results. Germany beat Denmark 2-1 over two legs. France, of course, got beat by Scotland 1-0. England are out of the World Cup after being beaten on extra time by Austria. Turkey are through after beating Romania 7-6 on penalties. And Slovakia are through after an away goal win against Bosnia and Herzegovina. So here is the FIFA World Cup draw in the group stages for the FIFA World Cup finals. So as we see here, the draw is Group A, Chile, Netherlands, Turkey, United States. Group B, Germany, Panama, Slovakia, Oman. Group C, Italy, Sweden, Japan, Uruguay. Group D, Brazil, Portugal, Egypt, Mexico. Group E, Belgium, Ghana, Poland, Australia. Group F, Colombia, Austria, Iran, Ivory Coast. Group G, Spain, Croatia, Morocco and South Korea. And Group H, Argentina, Scotland, Cameroon and New Zealand.